This topic is called understanding the distributive property. So the distributive property, that's when you are multiplying a number or a variable um, to something that's inside parentheses. So I'll write it without numbers first. This is kind of like what the property is where A and B and C are not equal to zero. So when we are multiplying what is outside parentheses to what is inside parentheses, we distribute that multiplication. That way we don't have to simplify within parentheses. So order of operations always says do what's in parentheses first, and then we multiply after. But sometimes if you have something within the parentheses that you can't multiply because it's a variable, so you can't multiply it to what's outside the parentheses, we want to use a distributive property to make it a little bit easier. So it's kind of like um, we're going to times A times B and we're going to times A times C. It looks a lot like Santa's hat. So you think of A bringing presents. It has to bring presents to both the B and the C. So we're going to do um, A times B and we keep that plus sign and then A times C. So whatever is outside gets multiplied by what is inside. So um, in our first example, it says, can the distributive pro or not example, the problem, can the distributive property be used to rewrite eight times 10 plus three? It can, the answer would be yes, because there's eight being times by something in parentheses. So yeah, that can be, that can happen. Then to fill in the blanks, what we're doing, this first number will always be what's outside the parentheses. So we're having an eight times each of what's inside. So we have the 10 and then we have the three. So see how we, we broke up that, um, let's look at our property here. Here our A was eight, our B was 10 and our C was three. So we're doing the A which was eight times the B which was 10 plus, and then we do the eight again times and our C was three. So you can use this formula and just plug in the numbers that are given to kind of figure out if it works. Let's try another one. I'm gonna leave that distributive property up. Yes, can you please um, subscribe to my channel and like and comment on any videos that you find helpful. So this problem says, can the distributive property be used to write seven times four plus five? Well, if our seven is A and our four is B and our five is C, then yeah, we can. We have those, um, the times, we have the plus sign, so yeah, that'll work. So in order to, if we want to fill it in, we have our seven times four, and then seven times five. So we took that seven on the outside, we put it in both of those parentheses, and then we split up the four and five with the seven. Let's see if we can try again. Um, on this one, even though there's not a plus sign, there's a minus sign there, we can still use the distributive because plus can be um, like, let's see, in our distributive property, it also means the same thing if there's a minus sign there. We just put a minus sign. There we go. So yes, um, fill in the blanks below. So again, we put four first and then we put um, 10. And then we put the four again and we times that by the seven. And that's the end of the lesson.